everybody, it's Danny, and today I've got my September birch box, and I only have the, I have like all the stuff in the lid, um, because I had a little accident, um, had a perfume, it, it's not going to be featured in here, but I had a perfume sample, and like the lid came off and like spilled all over the box, so yeah, I just threw that away, <laughs> um, what was the name of the, let's see, it was Turquoise Summer, uh, it's, I mean, eh, it's Escadia, I think is the brand, and I didn't really like it, um, I mean, obviously it was really strong, but, like, I can still smell it on this paper and everything, and it, it smelled good after, it, like, it aired out or whatever, but, Ooh, it was not something I would have worn. I don't wear a lot of perfume. Um, it did retail for $48 to $62, depending, I guess, on the size. But all the other products got to me in perfect condition and are awesome. So the first thing I got is by Liz Earl. And this is the Cleanse and Polish Hot Clock Cleanser. It has rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter, and eucalyptus oil. And I got an ounce of it. So that's cool. And then it also says on here, This creamy cleanser sweeps away dirt and makeup while gently exfoliating. And it also came with this, which is a muslin cloth. And I thought there were two in here at first because this thing is huge. Like, it's bigger than my face. So. Uh, and it does say, I guess, it also came with, like, this little thing for, like, instructions. I'm gonna keep the towel in this little baggie so it doesn't get dirty. But... It does say that you're supposed to put the cleanser on dry skin. Like, you put it on your skin when it's dry and, like, massage it. And then you're supposed to... Uh, no, let me just throw the cleanser on the floor. And then you're supposed to take the cloth, put it on... It said hand hot, so I guess just, like, as hot as you can take it, I guess. You, you're you supposed to soak this or run it under really hot water, wring it out, and then wipe it off your face and then use a clean part to like, I don't know, it, it's a really weird process. Um, so, yeah, it seems like a really weird process, but it's pretty cool. And this is a really good size cleanser, and I like that it came with the cloth, although it wouldn't make sense for it not to come with cloth, but I do like that the cloth is really, really big. And the next thing I got is by... Maui, and this is their vol volumizing mascara. Obviously, this is not a full size, it's just a little one. And it says on here that this is good for six months after you open it. I haven't opened it, and I'm not going to open it because I actually have a full size of this that I have open right now, but I really do like it. It's a $20 mascara if you get a full size. It says this mascara was designed. Supposed to be lash plumping formula to give you glamorous va va boom lashes. And it is a pretty good mascara. I've used it before. I like it. Um, and then this one I'm actually pretty excited about as well, especially because it is a huge size. This is two ounces. This is a huge, huge size. And this is the. Hmm. It's macadamia? Is that, how you see, is that how you spell macadamia? Like a macadamia nut? Anyway, that's what I'm going with. Macadamia Professionals Ultra Rich Cleansing Conditioner. Um, it says it's ultra hydrating, has no sulfates, parabens, or gluten. They're usually gluten in hair products. Anyway, well, there's no gluten in it. Um, it is color safe, cruelty free. It says it cleanses, conditions, nourishes, and again, two ounces, so that's really, really good. This is a hair conditioner, or like a 
a cleansing conditioner for your hair, like um, like the Win, the Win products. It's like that, but a different brand. This says this conditioner's blend of macadamia, argan, and mong mongongo oils nourish strands and prevent frizz while silk amino acids and vitamins strengthen hair and add bounce see if there's any directions apply generously to wet hair massage through hair from scalp to ends leave in for two to five minutes add a bit of water and massage scalp for about 15 seconds rinse thoroughly make sure all product is out no need to use a separate conditioner because it's a cleansing conditioner. It's, it's like a two-in-one. But it won't suds up because it's more of cream-based. And then the last thing is I actually picked it. And it is by Milk Makeup. And this is the Lip and Cheek Stick in the color Perp. Oh, I forgot to mention. This can range between $10 and $26. This is $24. And again, I picked this one. I picked this one because I thought I'd use it more than the highlighter. And this smells really good. This is the color. And just so you guys can see, that is all you get. Which honestly is actually not a bad amount. Because, I mean, personally, I'm going to use this for lip. But um, I do know, like, the actual stick stick, if you buy the full size, that's $24. I think it's like half an ounce. So that's a really, really big amount. And this is like 0.1. And I'm going to put this back down. And smell like it. Ooh, that's pretty. And there, you just swatch. It's kind of sheer, which I think is normal for like this kind of product because it's for lips and put that little thing back on it because it's for lips and um cheeks but it's really pretty it it looks like it's just a piece of like a glossy piece on my hand like on the camera but in person it is kind it is a really nice like it has a little bit more color to it than it's showing up on camera. But that is all of my birch box. I must say I'm actually quite pleased with the box. Like pretty, pretty pleased. Um, other than the the perfume sample, which I'm never gonna use. I'm not even disappointed. I'm not even gonna let them know it was messed up because I wasn't gonna use it anyway. But I liked the other four products. Um, I got a mascara that I already knew I liked, a cleansing conditioner, which, hey, I'll use that. The sample, I mean, I picked it, so, you know, and then the cleanser. So I got a lot of, a lot of, got a, got a lot of good stuff. And, um, in case you guys didn't watch my other video, I did cancel my Birchbox. Um, I will still be getting it, uh, until I think February or so because I did I prepaid for a year um, so I think I, I should still get it till February January or February and then it's gonna stop um, so there's that and then I did buy I did finally get a subscription to Sephora play um, I just bought that the other day and I don't know if I'm getting this month's box or if they're not gonna give it to me till next month you know what I mean like, I don't know if I missed the cutoff because I'm, I'm not sure how the Sephora Play one works. So, that's why I kind of showed it separately. But starting next month, I'm probably going to do, like, a bottle of them. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I might. I'm thinking I might do a bottle or I might open them individually. I, I haven't decided yet, but I'm kind of throwing that around. So, yeah. Um, I will talk to everyone later. And hope everyone had a great day, and see you in my next video. Bye!